All right, batteries all charged and ready to go. Um, so, okay, we got this pretty much done. Now we just have to uh, do this, just debox uh, this table saw. And let's go ahead and do that. And let's have some fun, shall we? Yes. Uh, probably put these uh, put these back. I'm gonna need every one of them. Um, so carefully doing that. There we go. Yeah, put this away here. Okay. Let's put that away. And uh, we're going to probably need these, so we'll just keep them around here for now. Let's open up and table saw. Let's see what it's all about. This is gonna look fun. That's gonna be fun here. When you debox something, you know, it's it's always it's always fun. Basically, you're seeing what I'm seeing, deboxing this. It's the first time I've ever gotten one of these here. So, you're basically seeing exactly what I am seeing. No. So, whatever comes out of there, comes out of there. If a boogie monster comes out of there, that's what, that's what you're seeing. I'm seeing it too. All right, let's do this here. All right. Okay. So you're basically seeing everything that I am seeing here, and whoa, look at that. If you're into table saws and power equipment, and you, uh, you you'll be like, wow, this is kind of impressive already. I'm already looking at the, the top here. And it's uh, man, it's looking really nice. Oh, oh yeah. Let's just let's just see what's in there. I'm just drooling looking at this thing. Oh. Oh, nice. I kind of like the full plate. The one I had before only had like half a plate here and this side was missing. Uh, this looks a little rough. Looks a little rough, which is all right. Uh, which is fine because, you know, I don't... I don't think these are really that great anyway. Um, usually these are screws, but uh, the hex uh, hex screws, um, hex wrenches, hex bits, uh, I think they work out better. They, they tend to not strip, in my opinion. Okay. Taking a look at that. Talking about these right here. Um, these are going to be adjusting the blades, and then uh, this blade here to to get the angle right. This is just here to okay. You can see what's inside there, and uh, yeah, looks, looks good. Looks nice. Yeah. It's uh, you know it's not doesn't look that 
great or anything, but it's pretty solid. I don't know what this part is here for in particular. I mean, that's for the blade guard and everything, so, but, uh, you know. Anyways, that looks good so far. Uh, okay, I think I, I want to go ahead and just pull it out. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's see, it was heavy. Nice and heavy. Bend your knees, keep your back straight. Okay. All right, so that's, let's see the unit. Got it here on the ground. Um, yeah, here you go. Pretty nice unit, 15 amp. got a nice holder here for the push stick. I think that's what that's for anyway. Um, probably have to screw in the handle here. Let's just say to release blade. Okay. And uh, okay, it's not that extremely heavy. under here to to go in and it's just I might just push down I like that okay that's good I wonder if you can remove this Let's see what it says here it says uh, pull out to lock so you can apparently pull this out to lock oh okay like that and that that locks it. It is plastic here, so all right. And then turning that back in, we'll put on the switch. Okay. Well, you know what I like to do is, uh, since we got it out, we're doing the the whole shebang review. Let's let's just turn it on its head here a little bit, so we can see what's on the inside, shall we? So, okay, it's loose. It's loose. Uh, let's, uh, let's tighten this up so it doesn't move, shall we? There we go. I kind of don't like this. I kind of don't like the knob being the way it is, kind of under here. But I guess, I guess maybe I'm just a little low. If I'm standing up, maybe, and I'm just here, it'd work better, but... Anyways, let's lock that into place so it doesn't move anymore on me. Uh, not bad, it's uh, not a, not much of a, I don't know how much dado I can do with the, uh, let me just flip it over here, so here we go, you can see it. I'm not sure how much dado I can do with this much um, spindle sticking out. It'd be nice if it was a little bit more than that. But uh, I think this is just a. F it's not an 80, it's a 40. 
Oh. Okay, there's a blade guard here. The blade guard is... Uh, okay. I'm going to push the blade guard up too. Okay, there's a blade guard right here. Uh, so, the two for it's pushing up against that. Let me see. Let's, let's turn this thing all the way. And the blade guard is sticking out. I wonder why I didn't see that in the first place. Maybe because it was a uh, it was loose. Interesting, I didn't see that. Mm. Uh, interesting, I didn't see that blade guard stick out when I first saw it. guard is, is there when you make a cut and it separates it so it doesn't kick back that much so okay I'm just I'm gonna have to put it on the side I'm gonna have to tilt it up like this so we'll just do it that way um, okay. not too bad um, This is uh, something that I'm a little new to me. It's this uh, vent for uh, the dust. So if you got a shop vac, you can put that in there. It'll start uh, collecting dust right away on that. So anyway, supposedly uh, I think this table saw will fit on that stand so uh, let's just pre-fit it and see if it uh, if it goes right on top here's the here are the holes for it um, don't know if it comes with the bolts but uh, let's let's see what it what it can do here not that bad let's see if it just sits right on top yes it does let me see Okay, maybe, uh, sits on top, but, um, uh, maybe, maybe perhaps this way then. No, it doesn't even do that. It fits on it, but it doesn't, it fits on it. Um, let me see here. If it's not that way, then it must be. But the holes don't line up on it. So. Hmm. Oh, it sticks out a little at the end right there. Hmm. Okay. I think it fits much better this way. Seems to fit better this way. Yeah, seems to fit better this way than any other way that I can see. Right off the bat, it does seem a little bit wider here. Well, it does say put plywood on there, so I may have to put some plywood. If I do that, I might, I might make the plywood stick out a little bit more. That could be a modification that you can do. That way, you got something to 
a little a little shelf here to put things on. Um, at this height, it's uh, I have to admit it's a little a little high, so that's kind of why I uh, it's got some markings. Uh, some little spray overspray here. Uh, these are typically usually screws which hold in the uh, the, the blade to swivel the 45, but uh, can you mess with it? So these are the only things you can really adjust, which is fine. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm I'm pretty happy with it. Looks like it's gonna work. Uh, I think it looks looks really good, actually. Um, probably gonna have to lower it, which is fine. But as is, it just it holds up with the screws being on really loose on the bottom. Uh, only two screws. We usually have four. So yeah, it's a. Uh, um, I think this is a winner. Uh, matter of fact, if I don't have the, uh, the foot extensions on the bottom, I think that would be the right height. So, okay. Cool. Glad that worked out. Let's see what else comes in the box. Oh, man, this, this is probably the most exciting part right here. Opening this up. See what else is in here? The fence. It's uh okay. Seems more lightweight. I'm not sure if it's aluminum or not. It is adjustable. You got the, the line gauge here. You got this little piece right here. It looks looks like I have to grind it off. Gives them a little bit better. Oh, it just bends over. It just bends over and falls right off. Would have been nice if that came off earlier. Still feels a little sharp right here. Um, would have been nice if it came off earlier. That way, would have gotten full paint on it. But that's all right. Let's see this letter. Hmm, okay. That's the lever right here. Tighten it. You gotta check sometimes on this. Make sure it's tight. This is just a usually this a, it's a screw. But just this hand tightening right here. Just tightens the tension on it. Okay. Let's just let's uh, let's put it on. Let's check it out. Let's see. a little bit so you gotta loosen that tension there we go it's kinda not the not the best fence in the world yep. gotta remember it's not it's not on the stand yet Blade guard. This blade guard is where the blade is. Um, seems like it's a little pin right here. Um, this could get in the way. I, I think I'm just going to remove it. Um, but, anyways, um, I guess you can use it as a form measure. And you see it's crooked. I don't know if you see that right there. But you could see that it that it's crooked already, so uh, that's kind of why I don't like. I think I'm gonna end up removing it. It's already crooked. So 
it comes out of the box that way, cricket, and it's just cricket. Anyways, I'm probably going to remove that anyway. Um, let me see. Yeah. It kind of lifts the bottom here. It would be nice if it wasn't so... If I could lift this up a little bit more to give myself a little... You just have to adjust the tension, I mean, uh, the tension on this, to get it where you where you want. And then this has to be adjusted probably once the blade is uh, once we get the blade calibrated. It really butts up against when it comes here to here. It just just doesn't. Doesn't want to. Okay, if you just handle it from here, it seems to slide. It seems to rock a lot. It's all right. It needs to be adjusted. So anyway, the fence needs to be adjusted because you can look and see that. Uh, you can see the the line here already just. Let me see if I can put it somewhere else. Let's see here. Okay. So let's just assume that line is straight. It came from the manufacturer. They they made a straight line on that. You could see that it's the the fence is crooked. So that the fence is going to have to be adjusted here. Uh, we'll do that by loosening these screws. Um, anyways, usually want to adjust it to the blade. Uh, but I'm just giving you a reference here that it's most likely crooked because you can tell by looking at this right here. Let me grab a screwdriver so I can point that out to you. You can probably see it already, but it, I guess it wouldn't hurt to just to clarify. So, see that? See that line right there? right here um, you obviously see the fence line here it's, it's that's parallel to that so we'll, we'll go ahead and get that going well you know when you buy uh, equipment like this it's it's not the, or any any cheap uh, the, the lower priced uh, table saws don't don't expect anything great um, but you know what uh, if you know how to adjust this uh, make the proper um, you know if you know what to adjust and how to adjust it um, and maybe even add a, a sled cross cut sled a rip sled um, whatever jig you have in mind um, you can you can really get pretty darn good cuts um, and unless you want to pay a few thousand dollars in, um, in, a, in a really high grade uh, table saw um, you know this is probably the only option you have but uh, you know that's if you're watching this this is kind of what you what you were thinking um, I'll, I'm going to show you the best way you can get a really good cut out of it. So what's what's next here? Um, all right, just put the, let's go put the fence on here. Let's go out. Let's go look in the box. I guess you just pull it out for the most part, and um, you can start cutting cutting away if you want to. Um, here's the push stick made from ABS. So which is cool, you know, but I always, I'm probably going to just go ahead and make, make a, a push stick and some other stuff. Uh, in fact, uh, I'll show you what I have uh, from my 
previous table saw, which I'll probably use a lot. This is, came from scrap pieces of making um, some picture frames anyways. Uh, this was my original push stick here. Just something I cut and you can see I've... If that was my hand, I'd be bleeding, you know, and right here as well. And a little bit right here as well. I kind of pushed, used it to push this way. So um, this works really good too. And what I like about this is that it's a longer, when you make your own, you can, you can kind of see, you kind of see what I'm talking about, how, how different this is. Um, you can make your own push stick, and I like mine here a little longer because when I'm, when I'm pushing it out, I got to push it as far as to the edge, and it'll have a, a long enough lip to, to keep it and then I can control the, the drop so as it's as it's going out let's say like this more like that that size I can push down on it push down on it and then drop it out like that where as this I'm, I'm not sure how much I'm not sure how much kind of rounded too, which doesn't really give you a lot to work with here. You could do the same, I guess. It's rounded, it's hard to control. Where, you know, this is more, more straight, more straight edge to it. I just think this is, and it's just a piece of scrap. You know, I probably could make a little handle out of here, but anyways, I'll be most likely using this. And uh, these pieces that I use for is uh, kind of lines. I'll have a piece of piece of board like this, and uh, if it's long, I'll probably make a, a sled here longer than the table, of course. And you know, I like to make sure it's pushed down here, and so when I'm Instead of having your hand here at the blade, um, I like to kind of push down here and know that at least over here it's being pushed as well and here and just kind of, you know, and then, you know, you can just, and then kind of just keep your hands away from the blade because I've, I've come very close to cutting my finger off. Um, I don't have the glove, but I remember I was I was just pushing things along with my my bare hands on the wood like this, and um, I wasn't looking. But man, I'm glad I was going slow because the blade nicked, and I, and I was wearing gloves. And I'm glad I'm wearing gloves too. It nicked the glove, and it nicked my finger. And I felt it right away, and I pulled, and I pulled myself out. Whoa! And uh, I'm very fortunate; it barely made a little bleeding, but uh, definitely cut the skin, definitely cut my glove. And that's when I realized, wow, I could see how someone can easily lose a finger, cut a uh, cut to the bone, um, cut a nerve, cut a ligament. Um, so, you know, I respect this the blade uh, very much. Uh, I, I don't mess around with it. So um, that's why I use a table saw. I just push the table, and it'll do the cutting, it'll, you know, for me. Um, if I rip things, um, again, uh, I like to have a larger table extend out. Um, anyways. Uh, I'll show you all that in maybe another video, um, but this is just a simple, small thing here. Anyway, let's continue on. I talk too much. Sorry about that. Is this, is that what this is for? I think that's what that's for. I think that's what that's for. It doesn't...
nothing turns on. It vibrates pretty good. I'm wondering, I'm wondering if something else goes in here too. Um, maybe there's something else. Uh, let's, let's, let's find out here. There's also this little box here. And uh, that's, that's pretty much it. There's nothing else but styrofoam to look at. So, uh, and that concludes the, the D-Box part about this whole thing. And let's see what this is. Now we've got a little table stand here. Uh, maybe I can move this a little further away from the light. I'm going to try to lift this whole thing now and see how heavy it is with the stand. And oh, yeah, it's, it's heavy with the stand. we could work on something we get something until we put something on okay okay let's see what the, what the rest of this is for Probably the blade guard, more blade guard stuff. Uh, most likely I will not be putting those things on um, just because uh, of the things I'm planning on doing with it is uh, it's just gonna get in my way. Um, but I highly recommend people, to, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna go ahead and just do the full install to show you all. Um, but uh, I'll probably won't be using some of the safety features, but uh, on here, and let's take a look here. Okay, good. This feels pretty, pretty darn solid, actually. Um, feels, yeah, well, it's, it is solid, but what I'm trying to say, it's, it's light, but at the same time, it feels solid. Not too heavy. Um, not that bad. I wonder why this is sticking out like that. It's kind of interesting. Why would that stick out? Oh. Okay. So. Okay. According to this, it says it's zero. Let's see how it slides in there. There's always a wiggle room, so. And there's always a wiggle room here. And this, let's see, this says it's zero right here. I never really trust these things because they always have to be calibrated. And let's see, let's see here, let's loosen this up here. So we can, maybe it's upside down. That's why it's, that's why it's wiggling so much. Let's see what happens if we put it the other way. not because there's a little lip here that won't let you do it so it is this way okay. I wonder if this comes off okay maybe this is part of the packaging no, that's not part of the packaging, but hmm. right, let's take a look at this. It's uh, it's bent. Can you see that? See, you see where it's bent? It's bent right here. Probably same thing on the other side as well. It's a little bent, so not so straight. After all, it'd be nice if it was the chambers were had a had one coming up here to support it because it looks like it's been pressed. Yeah. Anyways, I think it even goes all the way through. It's hollow. Yeah, 
that's why it's so light. It goes all the way through, it's hollow. But, uh, anyways, I probably won't be using this either. Um, I just come to the conclusion that uh, these pieces don't really help that much. If you, if you have like a 12 inch or 8 inch piece of wood that you want to cut, you know, really accurately or decently accurately with a table saw, then yeah, I'll use this, you know. But when I want to cut larger pieces, I don't really use this. And, uh, okay. Okay. I'm just making sure it doesn't go this this way or any other way, but okay. I just have to accept the fact that this is the way it goes. Alright. Well, at least it's large. It'll help you push, you know, things through. Let's see what it does. Anyways, let's put this stuff away. get out here it's there's always a little play but it it seems to go smooth and straight when you come out when I'm out here that's where a lot of the you know wiggle starts to happen I guess but when you come out here you, you got some this to hold on so yeah I mean it works it works it works. Let's see how it works on the on the other side now. I don't really get what this this thing is for, but uh, and I don't see any manual. This is manual. Where's Manuel? Yeah, where is Manuel when you need him? He's never around. Damn that Manuel. Okay, so let's see. Not too bad. Well, anyways, they're never really straight or accurate, you know. So. Okay. All right. Well, that was fun. And uh, let me see here. I guess if you want, you can take this off. I wonder if you can take this off and still use it as a fence. Uh, it's possible. Let me see here. If I took this off. It's kind of hard with, the, with this in the way. So let's, let's see if I could... Uh, this out of the way. Can you see that? Sorry. I didn't let you see it. But uh, there you go. Uh, so you can take it off. <coughs> Excuse me.
Excuse me. Oh. So you can't take it off and, you know, this seems flat. Let's see if it is flat. Gap at the end, but uh, let's see if I okay. Well, there's no rocking, so and the middle pieces are higher than the ends. About all I can tell you. So it's it's possible you can use it without uh, without this because I think there's there's some definitely bowing in this in this cross cut fence thing that they have here. Um, and then from the naked eye, it seems like it. And uh, yeah, you see that? See that little light coming through in the middle? Let's see how bad it is. Oh, in the middle, in the middle is not too bad. I think when they when they cut it, I don't know what they used to cut it, but it really sheared it off. And there's at the ends, there's that little gap. And in the middle, in the middle is straight, 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 and then towards the end, there's a gap. Okay. Well, maybe it's not that bad then. Let's see how flat it is here. I'm going to do a diagonal because the end pieces are a little plastic piece then. They might alter the, uh, okay. And, uh, yeah, there's a slight gap in the middle here. but could be useful if you have a big piece. Probably won't even really matter. Anyways, uh, so it's possible to take this, it's possible to uh, to take this off if you don't really like it. But let me just put it back on because it's, uh, well, because it's there. I can. So, um, not that bad. I, you know, you can work with it. For, uh, for what this machine costs, it's, um, it's workable. what this machine costs, you can work with it. It's not, you know. It's not a disaster. I haven't really 
calibrated this um, this yet, but it all depends on the blade where the blade sits. So let's just put this away. I think it goes right in here. Got to be careful. Of this. put this away you're gonna have to put this at a at a, some kind of angle because it's just it's gonna hit something here so let's just put it right here like that for now okay let's see what's going on here so brand new it doesn't even want to go in about if you this bottom part right here hits the cord so definitely gonna have to put it in a different way than, than this um, yeah see so it doesn't get in the way of me moving this thing. Just playing around with it. Maybe this is just to slide it all the way up on the top and have it butt up against something. I'm trying to figure out what this end piece here is for. Of course, a manual would help, but. Uh, whatever it is. So, okay. Okay, that's that's fine. That's fine. We'll just have to keep it there like that. Here's the plug. So, okay. All right, let's take out everything else now. Uh, backup handle. Awesome. Okay, here's the the blade guard. Okay, it's a blade guard, but it's not covered blade guard. I know this thing in. Yeah, let's see. Literally, it looks like it just goes right in between here. I'm sure there's something more to it than that. Oh, your wrench. Your wrench is good to remove the blade. Oh, my last piece didn't have that. I had to, had to make something. Let's see. Okay, it looks like pieces for the blade guard. Maybe for these right here, the bottom. Okay. Uh, okay, it's for the kickback. 
And here's the manual right here. And then, okay. The box is empty. All right. So let's just take a look here. Quick look at the. Uh, at this here. Okay, so we didn't have to install the push stick brackets because they were already installed. Good. like they give you some instructions of push stick. Okay. okay. This is the plug holder. I don't know what the hell the plug holder is. Okay. Okay, we can have this thing come out now. Making a quick review at this. Okay. okay, you're seeing everything I saw. Hope you saw all that. Good. That was fun. Is here to do that. This is a uh, probably got to put them on the bottom here, but uh, gonna deal with that later. Okay, um, this is where we can just pull this out. So we can put this over here for now, and then I'll take a look at this. 
All right, so what we got here is this lever here raises, oh, lowers. And lowers and raises this thing, so we need to raise it up. There we go. And it's a little crooked. Guard. It's under here. And in fact, it comes up to one of these here. Upside down. There we go. There we go. Okay, so there's some in here. in, it pushes hip here, allows it to go through, okay, this one back here is, uh, you have to read the instructions on this. the blade going up and then there we go it's like this
actually have to remove this screw. Those directions, man, they don't really tell you much of anything. Apparently, you have to remove this. There it is. There it is, if I can get it. Screw this thing. I to do that. I might have to. It just spins around when I do that. Okay. I need two hands to do this. All right. There's a spring in here as well, so be careful when you, when you undo this. There we go. There's one. I wonder where the spring is. Okay. There's the spring. All right, so. Uh, well, those directions really explain that really well. Anyways. I don't know if you noticed, but it's a little pain in the ass this thing is.
I don't know what that's for. That's not an extra handle. That's the handle for the damn thing. Oh, all right, that's starting to make a lot of sense here. Oh, okay. That's what this is for. I was wondering what the hell this is for. Let's keep that in here. It's for this. This part here, this part that came in this bag and this extra handle that I thought was a handle, it's just a regular handle. I know it would be too good to be true to give you an extra handle. Anyways, it goes in here, goes through the hole, and then in here, voila. I'm assuming you probably have to put the washer on this side after you put it in, of course, through here. to keep it straight out. So I put something in here just to push it through. Okay. And it doesn't even go all the way through. So this must go on the inside. Okay. So the washer goes on here, which goes in there. Okay. Now everything kind of somewhat makes sense. Nope. Okay, the washer does not go in there. Go in there and all because it doesn't even reach all the way through. So the washer does go on the other side. I wonder if it goes in like this. Now it's got to go against the nut. That's the only thing I can explain. Anyways. Pull this. I could just pull that out. Nope. Nope. No, the nut will go in there, but. I don't know what the hell the washer is for. Well, I guess the washer is for the inside then. Maybe it is for the inside. So it doesn't rub against the plastic. <clears throat> because this just goes in here and it's there's a nut that goes in the back, and uh, I'm assuming that's it's it's got to be this way because because um, just the way it's set up, it just the hole is shaped like the nut. So there we go. Well, now we're set, kind of. Since the lock nut is nylon, it's a ball nylon piece to the end. Uh, there we go. Okay, I think I got that part. Okay, there we go.
mystery solved on that piece. Okay, let's see how it does on this. Raising this and lowering it. Yeah, this part really feels like a piece of plastic junk. But, eh, what you gonna do? Okay, so this. Yeah, I really don't like this. There we go. So supposedly, this will this goes through here if I'm reading this thing right and trying to understand it at the same time but This is supposed to go right through there. So not there, then maybe it's right here. Now it's pretty specific where it goes. is here perfectly fine it doesn't reach uh, that hole in which it states not reaching that hole.
missing something. I'm for sure I'm missing something. To be honest with you, I'm wondering if I should even do this. Because I, I know I'm not going to be using this. It's crazy absurd. right in here. Okay. Um, there you go. This direction is really way off. It tells you to go in here, which it looks like that the hole, but really it's right here. Because the way it, it just didn't make sense. The holes line up here at that little, this little area here, and then what you do is you just push it in and it snaps and snaps it into place. And then I guess if you want to take it out, you do this. Um, that's a lot easier than what I had to go through, all that bullshit. I'm sorry. Sorry for the cussing, but, you know, these are some bad directions around here. Made me unscrew all this stuff and everything. Really didn't even need to. Anyways, again, right here, and the adjustment's already off. Let's go through under here. There we go. Tighten that. Yeah, I might just take this whole thing off. Just because it's not that much of a pain in the butt, but and it's crooked on top of that, so it doesn't even really help you. Looks started to look nice, but man, it's starting to get ugly here. So, anyways, uh, if you can see that, you just snap it into place. Just go in. Oh, yeah, you gotta push this out. There we go. There we go. And once it's in place, it locked in. And I can see why they put this here. It's for the blades to snap back down. So mm, gotta play with that now because I had to manhandle it. 